Hello everyone, and welcome back to DMG. Today, as a uh, as a finale of the of the hard drive series, I thought we would put some of the open drives in a caddy and just just watch them. I'm not gonna connect it to a computer because. It's, it's unlikely that it'll cause any issue with the computer, but I also don't want, you know, any of the data on these drives to, you know, have a chance to get anywhere. But, yeah, so I'm gonna start with the laptop drive. I'm gonna save the best for last, I'm gonna save this one for last, because I have a feeling that, well, because it's an old Seagate drive, that it's going to fail catastrophically and it'll be funny. Okay, first of all, laptop drive. Oh yeah, and before I turn this caddy on, I just want to say, n never try this. If your drive still works, you will ruin all of the data on your drive. And if your drive doesn't work, and you don't know what you're doing, there is a chance that the platter can just, like, explode. So don't touch the platter with anything while it's on. Here you can see my, uh... <laughs> my weird recording setup again. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's spinning up. Wow. Just touching the spindle, it doesn't seem to be going at a super high speed. Okay, it stopped. Are you, are you gonna do anything? A drive. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Please be less disappointing. Alright. Sad. So the head on this drive just will not move. Alright, this is the other laptop drive. I believe the first one was the WD Blue, and then this one is the Hitachi. Or, sorry, the, the HGST. Oh! We have head movement. Irregular head movement that shouldn't be happening. But at least the head... Ah! Click of death. It's got the click of death. Yep. So why this happens is it can't read the platter, corrosion, uh, fingerprints, I mean, if it, it might be my fault for getting my grubby little Cheeto dust fingers all over the platter, but it's probably why this drive was in the scrap pile, so yeah. You know what, really quickly I'm gonna try cleaning the platter. Just a quick, you know, scrub off with the sh with the tie. Okay, that's about as clean as I would be able to get it. Is it gonna do anything now? Nope. Okay, yeah, this this drive is just like completely gone. Because this is a low RPM drive with a small platter, I can do this safely. Looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that drive is very dead. But at least I got a cool looking uh, pattern now. Almost looks like a vinyl record, you know? Wow, that's actually really cool. Alright, now it's time for the small Seagate drive. Please be interesting. And please don't explode. I'm almost scared for my life because it's a Seagate drive and we know how that turns out. Oh. This one's got motor issues. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, there. There. It spun up. <laughs> the head's not doing what it should. At all. That's a... You can feel the wind. Yeah. Okay, so this drive is just not gonna... Not gonna, uh, read. So, at first, it definitely was having some sort of, like, motor or controller issue. Come on. Yep, no, you're supposed to go there. Go. Okay, this drive is, is pretty broken. It sounds extremely loud, too, even with the cover on. So perfect, it's got motor issues and head issues. Okay, so that's it parking the head. Oh, this one appears. I think this is the one I literally dropped my, my screwdriver bit in when I was taking it apart. I wonder if, you know, giving it the good tie cleaning will, you know, solve anything. Oh, and also I would love to plug some of the older drives I have up. But I can't in this video because I don't have an IDE caddy. Although the ones that use Molex power, I could just connect them straight to a to a power supply, I guess. I could just give it 12 volts. Oh, this one's got a scratch on the platter. Um, it's not it's not very easy to see. But, you know, it's right at the edge there. That's not a fingerprint. That's like a huge scratch. Well, I guess huge in hard drive standards. This drive will probably never work ever again. Yeah, we're getting the same thing. Irregular head movement. Can't read the disc. Oh! That was a bit... That was a bit more movement from the head there. Yeah, this this drive also very broken. F in the chat, man. Okay, now it's time for the big boy, the Chungus. This better be good. Okay, I don't like the sound of a head crash, but sometimes it can be pretty funny. Let's see. Oh god! Oh my god, that's a terrible sound. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this drive is scaring me. I'm gonna put the lid on it so that if the platter explodes, it doesn't blast shrapnel all around my room. That's not what a drive should sound like. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's what a head dragging across the platter sounds like. Hey, it's an instrument. That's slightly less bad. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Because this drive is scaring me. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Look, right there, like, again, it- Oh, you can see it right there. Oh, the head's just, like, rubbing against the platter. Listen to that. <laughs> okay! That was funny. <laughs> that was genuinely terrifying, but, you know, pretty hilarious. Okay, finally, this drive again. I want to see what silver marker looks like on the platter. Okay, so this one is also having trouble spinning. 
you can see because yeah I'm gonna unplug that driver right now <laughs> it was making bad sounds so this one has motor issues and head issues <laughs> Oof. thank you everyone so much for watching <laughs> Um, in the future I may be able to get more hard drives, and, I mean, if so, I will plug them into the caddy in the video where I do the, like, disassembly. But, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and see you next video.